Alright, y'all know I've been slacking. I've been putting out many videos lately. Let's do uh, shift change. Put a number on me. Got kind of ornery. Uh, all my spare time, I've been dedicating to these uh, antique Coleman lanterns. I've been buying them as I can find them and restoring them, refurbishing them, whatever you want to call it. Getting them back to fork and order again, bringing them back to life. Here is a 237 kerosene. See, I just put the uh, alcohol in there and uh, preheating the generator. I'll be able to turn her on here in just a few minutes. Get that generator nice and warm to vaporize that kerosene. Alright. It's been a while since I've done a video. I'm going to make a really special video this time. Um, at least it's special to me. And I think a lot of y'all really appreciate this one. Let's see what, what we got here. I think this thing should be warm enough here to go ahead and try to light it. Sorry about all the shaking. Okay, many years ago, I picked up this vintage uh, Western fixed blade hunting knife with this beautiful uh, leather sheath with a pocket for a small hatchet. But I wasn't lucky enough to find the hatchet with it. Just the just the knife by itself. beautiful piece of gear check that out beautiful rosewood handles carbon steel blade Western USA, I guess that's W66, brass finger guard, not sure what the uh, little stack pieces are made of, beautiful colors though, Got black ivory and like a burgundy, aluminum pommel, brass pins, Gorgeous knife. I didn't bring a tape measure out here with me today. But like I said, I wasn't lucky enough to get the hatchet with that, and I've looked for a lot of years for that hatchet. And um, every antique store I went in, flea market, I just combed and searched, no luck. Even been watching eBay, <clears throat> seen one several years ago, and um, they didn't really give the, the dimensions on it, and I was afraid to order it and it not fit my sheath. And I passed on it and I've regretted it ever since. Well, a couple of weeks ago I was on eBay again, another one popped up, and this seller actually gave the dimensions on it, I measured my sheath. And it was what I needed. Check this out. Beautiful vintage western hatchet. Rosewood handles. See, this is a 
Western USA W10. And on the bottom it's got a G. You can see it's a beautiful carbon steel blade. The aluminum pommel. I've looked for this and looked for this. I'm so tickled. So I wish I had a tape measure to get you some measurements on these things. You can see this is a very thin blade axe. I had a few little nicks on the blade when I got it, but they came out very easily. Put a really nice edge on this blade. I could probably shave with it but I don't have much hair left on my arms I've, I've been sharpening some knives lately hey, it's been another edition of knife show Sunday really appreciate you all that's uh, hung in with me here all this time with my absences no, I haven't been putting out a lot of videos lately. But I'm trying to get back in the habit of it. See, when I'm not working, uh, these old antique Coleman lanterns have took all my time. I, mean, I have a passion for these antique lanterns, along with my knives. But the lanterns have kind of took over priority recently. If y'all would like to uh, see some videos on, on the lanterns, just uh, let me know. Just show the lanterns, or we can do some um, restore videos. How I refurbish them, or repair them, get them going. Don't don't refurbish all of them. I just like to get them burning again. A few of them I clean up, make them look new again, or new as I can again. Hard to make an antique one look brand new when they're pretty crusty when you get them, but, but I give it a shot. Alright, thank you all for watching. Like, share, subscribe. God bless.